In this lesson, we are going to learn about Azure Queue Storage. Azure Queue Storage is a service for storing large numbers of messages that can be accessed from anywhere in the world via authenticated calls using HTTP or HTTPS. A single queue message can be up to 64 kilobytes in size and a queue can contain millions of messages up to the total capacity limit of a storage account. Let us look into the components involved in an Azure queue storage. The first one is URL format. Queues are addressed by using following URL format. It starts with HTTPS colon storage account dot queue.co.windows.net and the queue name. The following URL addresses a queue in the diagram http colon myaccount.q.co.windows.net slash images to download or images to resize. The second component is storage account. All access to Azure storage is done through a storage account. The third component is queue. A queue contains a set of messages. All messages must be in a queue. Note that the queue name must be all lowercase. And we have a message. A message can be in any format up to 64 kilobyte. The maximum time that a message can remain in the queue is seven days. Let's look at a code example. The Azure storage client library for .NET supports using a storage connection string to configure endpoints and credentials for accessing storage services. The best way to maintain your storage connection string is in a configuration file. To configure your connection string, open the application configuration file in the Microsoft Visual Studio and add a new element to the app settings section. The queue client class enables you to retrieve queues stored in queue storage. To insert a message into an existing queue, call the send message method. A message can be either a string or a byte array. You can peek at the message in the front of the queue without removing it from the queue by, by calling the peek messages method. And you can get an estimate of the number of messages in the queue. The get properties method returns queue properties including the message count. The approximate message count property contains the approximate number of messages in the queue. And this number is not lower than the actual number of messages in the queue but could be higher. When you call the receive messages, you can get the next message in a queue. A message returned from the receive messages become invisible to any other code reading messages from this queue. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about monitoring in Azure. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.